Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Rupp here with Sister Gretchen. Good morning. If you like our little videos and devotionals, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell. We thank, And for all our subscribers, we thank you very much and God bless you. Today's devotional is called The Artist. The Artist. Okay, let's get started. Jeremiah 18, 6 says, Like clay in the hands of the potter, so are you in my hand. Yes, amen. And George McDonald said, God's fingers can touch nothing but to mold it into lovingness. Wow. Loveliness. Wow. So God's not going to start a work without the intentions of it being lovely. Yes. And amazing. Amen. God loves He's us. He's not going to do it. God loves us and he wants the best for us. That's right. He's going to mold us in love. Okay, let's get started. We're involved in a lifelong art project. We want our lives to turn out the best possible way for us. We are so consumed with crafting circumstances, people, work, and dreams to our advantage. Yeah, a lot of us spend a lot of time trying to manipulate situations. Right, that's true. And a lot of energy. That's true. And yeah. it often doesn't turn out so well. Usually backfires on us. That's right. <laughs> we plan for the best education, the best job, the best family, the best neighborhood, the best everything we could think of. Constantly trying to shape ourselves into the right form. Right. But without God's help or mm. instructions. Yes. Or leading. Right. Whether conscious or not, we are diligent craftsmen. There's a craftsman more skilled than us, though. And if we would trust him to shape us into something more beautiful, he would. Yes. After all, clay can't really do much on its own. You ever heard the phrase, just a big lump of clay? <laughs> well, guess what? It's just a big lump of clay. <laughs> That's right. And it's useless without somebody who knows how to craft something out of it. Yes, uh, absolutely. <laughs> when we try to make art ourselves, we end up with slightly reshaped clay. Slightly? <laughs> Boy, is that an understatement. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but when the master artist Ooh. makes art of us, his work can be breathtaking. Yes. Amen. He has a grander vision of beauty than we do. We can't even comprehend what God wants to do in our lives we most can't. of the time. Our, our brains are too small. We are reluctant to relax in the hands of the potter for one main reason. We forget why we exist. We assume that clay exists for the sake of our own feelings or dreams. We focus on clay esteem clay actualization <laughs> right. or clay fulfillment right wrong <laughs> obviously oblivious yeah. to the infinite larger purpose of our formation yeah. clay really exists for the potter alone yes Amen. when the artist is allowed to do his work the clay displays the creativity of his heart mm. and mind yeah most of us would find ourselves very happy in a very mundane dull life if we don't allow God to shape us. Yes. It's about what he wants to make. Right. And use us. Right. And so, are you allowing the potter to do his work? Mm. Never resist it. Even though there's no guarantee that it will be a comfortable process. No, it won't be. No, it won't. We're not going <laughs> to lie to you. We're going to tell you the truth. It, it will not be comfortable. But you, it will be worth it. You can't make a clay pot and make it comfortable for the clay. No. You got it. Knead it, put your fingers in it. Yeah. You got to do all kinds of things to it. And then we haven't even talked about the firing of the clay. <laughs> no, we haven't gone there yet. <laughs> haven't gone there the yet. The firing of the clay is what makes it pottery and right. substantial. Raw clay is useless. Right. right. But it takes the firing of the clay in the kiln to make it hard and something useful. Something Ooh. useful and beautiful. Oh. But you got to go through the fire That's first. right. We haven't even gotten there. <laughs> In fact, it almost certainly won't be comfortable. No. If clay could feel, the bending and twisting would likely be excruciating. Yes. The trials of your life are like the tools of a potter. They gouge you for the sake of beauty. Right. But the finished product is glorious. Mm -hmm. It has to be. It comes from the heart of the potter. Trust him completely. 
There's nothing more beautiful than his artwork. Amen. That's true. Very true. And Bill and I are experiencing some of that right now in our lives with some transitioning. And, mm. you know, it's not comfortable. No. It's it, If you allow it to get to you, it can make you so anxious. With a, You just will re, be riddled with anxiety. You just have to learn to trust in that's God. That's right. And that's where we are. We're yeah. learning just to trust and just let God show us step by step. And um, we have no doubt whatsoever that it's all going to work out fine. Amen. He's going to bring us to where he wants us to be. And we mean that literally and figuratively. Amen. So it is a process of trusting. You have to start with baby steps with trust. And God, God will walk you through that. He will not give you more than what you can handle. And so... You have to trust the process of faith walking step by step. Yes. And I promise you, <laughs> the harder things are, the more amazing they're going to be after the oh, end. Oh, that's right. They are. Amen. You know, you can't, you just can't comprehend how amazing it is to live uh, a life for the Lord. And um, he takes uh, ashes and makes them beautiful. Amen. So we hope y'all have an amazing day, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Amen. And we are at the Louisiana United Pentecostal Church Campgrounds here in Alexandria, Louisiana. If you're here this weekend, uh, look us up. We're in the campground, and look us up, and we'll uh, have some fellowship. Yes. Amen. And then uh, Monday, we head uh, to Morgan City, Amen. Louisiana, and we'll be there a few months. Well, we hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye. Thank you, and... God bless you. Amen. <laughs>